The question on many people's minds when I speak to them about 3D printing is, is it difficult? Is it useful? I mean, really, uh, why bother with 3D printing? I have in my pocket here a wallet uh, that was 3D printed, which is really quite cool. I'll give you a bit more detail on that later. Um, I've also uh, designed and started building a laptop, um, which has got all 3D printed components in it. So is it difficult to, to use FreeCAD? Is it difficult to, um, to slice those files in Cura? Is it difficult to make them on your 3D printer? Well, all very good questions, and hopefully I'd like to do my best to sort of answer uh, some of those things for you uh, during the course of this video, with the help of some fabulous VIP friends. Oh, I didn't mean to fall off. <laughs> Just threw myself on the floor. <clears throat> is, that, is that for me to put my cider on? VIP guest on the show which is absolutely awesome you may, you may you may recognize him you may recognize him neil from retro man cave hello guys and neil came with a little piece of plastic in his <clears> hand <throat> and he said howard uh, can you make one of those for yeah, me yeah so i'm completely new to the world of 3d printing and i'm currently working on um, a restoration of a computer called a trs80 trs80 they date back to 1977 so parts asperse and it was certainly more popular in the US, so it's even harder to come by parts in the UK. And one of the parts is very simple. It's just this sort of bit of tubing, and there are nine or so of these that sit between the keyboard and the system board and Little just spaces. stop the keyboard from crunching down on the system board. Okay. Excellent. So I thought, what better place to start with 3D printing than something so simple, just a piece of tubing. Great excuse to get the 3D printer yeah, out. Start and simple. maybe have a cider. Cheers, Neil. Yeah, Thanks cheers, for buddy. popping on there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so, and then I saw your 3D printer review, which I enjoyed very much on your channel. And, uh, yeah, ping how it's got a 3D printer. Let's take Let's some cider Let's make use around. of it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, what we're going to do is start FreeCAD. Um, uh, start designing this part. So we take a, a part, in this case just a cylinder, and what we've got to do is apply the size that we want of that cylinder. And what we're going to do ultimately is take one cylinder away from another cylinder in the 3D environment. So um, I'm just setting the size of the cylinder here and the height of the cylinder. Uh, so I'm just measuring those up with the ruler. Now I'm going to put another cylinder inside said cylinder and uh, make that cylinder the appropriate size. And then what I'm going to do is subtract one cylinder, the cylinder on the inside, from the cylinder on the outside and effectively create a big hole inside the cylinder. So um, I haven't quite got my dimensions correct at the minute. Um, I, f I feel like that wall thickness is just a little bit too thick. Uh, so uh, I, that's better. There we go. So uh, the part's about sort of 13 or 14 mil in, in, in diameter. And uh, the hole on the inside is uh, 7 or 8 mil. Uh, and there we go. Just take those parts away from each other. And all of a sudden, you've made a little standoff, a little ring, a little TRS-80 PCB standoff. So happy days. So then what we've got to do is mesh that and export that as a mesh. And that effectively creates what's called an STL file, uh, which I believe stands for um, stereolithography or something along those lines. Um, I need to look into exactly uh, what STL files are and get a bit more information on those. And then the next thing uh, to do is to go ahead and um, use Cura uh, to prepare a, uh, uh, this particular part. So we import this 3D model into Cura. And what Cura does is it's a bit of slicing software. And uh, Cura gives you the ability to um, uh, put down supports and tell it what kind of um, machine you're using and what kind of filament you're using and uh, lets you set the layer heights and how accurate things are going to be and all that kind of good stuff and actually here you can see what I'm doing is just having a quick through look through all of those layer heights and you'll see that uh, 
you'll see the, uh, the, 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 the little cylinder being built up by layers effectively. And that little round circle around the outside of it is a skirt to get the print nozzle running. So you save that on your file, on your SD card, and then you take that SD card and you stuff it in your printer, you heat up the, the, the print bed and the printer starts printing. And hopefully you'll get something that looks a little bit like this. Instead of building little benchy boats like this thing, which you probably can't see from all the way back there, perhaps uh, you can make useful things like this, for instance, which was printed flat on the bed of the machine and the hinge was printed. You pull it off the machine and boom, you've got a wallet for all of your important worldly possessions. Also, an iPad holder. Well, I should probably go and get an iPad so I can show you what an iPad looks like in an iPad holder. And then also, a knife. Can you believe it? A 3D knife. How cool. Another project that we're working on, a games console. Yes, of course, it's a handheld games console. But this is quite a cool project. Um, this is going to be a little Raspberry Pi Zero Retro Pi device. Um, it, it rattles a lot. It's got lots of buttons inside of it, but uh, it's got a good three and a half inch screen on it. So uh, quite looking forward to building that. Obviously a Shaun the Sheep cookie cutter for Mrs. Dubious. And very occasionally you might also get prints that look something like that. Um, yeah, occasionally prints go wrong and uh, there's a variety of reasons why they might go wrong, but they do occasionally. And to be fair, this went wrong because it wasn't designed very well in my humble opinion. And also because I didn't turn on the uh, support structures in Cura. Anyway, we'll go over some of those details in a minute. Let me show you around some of these items that we've got spread out on the table here. Okay, so spread out on the table then. Let's start with my first print. A Shaun the Sheep cookie cutter. How cute is that? Yes, the wife coloured it in. We're obviously not going to be using it for cutting any cookies. So this is the Pie Girl, the Retro Pie uh, console uh, that I'm quite looking forward to making. Three and a half inch screen. Uh, obviously a D-pad here and various buttons there, start, select, and also has on the top of it the shoulder buttons too, which is really quite cool. So I'll be able to play Super Mario Kart. This, I didn't expect. This is, if I can open it one-handed, which I can't apparently, it's quite good that it does that actually. This here is a 3D printed Stanley blade holder knife. A 3D printed knife, how cool is that? a wallet and ultimately this wallet was printed flat on the table it has space in here for your credit cards and it has space here for money and various other bits and pieces in fact I use one daily also an iPad holder very simple design folding so you can put it in your bag all of this stuff as far as I'm concerned all of this stuff is really quite useful then you've got your regular benchy boats. In fact, I'll just zoom you in a little bit on that so you can see the quality of the build. So this is some, um, <laughs> actually this isn't a standard benchy boat. This is a benchy boat gunship, which is super cool. And I was sort of impressed with the fact that it was able to print those guns without any supports or anything like that. So yeah, Good quality printing from the uh, Creality CR20. And then, sometimes you end up with that. Not very often. Um, and again, I think that was just down to the fact that I didn't turn on supports. But occasionally, you're gonna end up with that. 
and don't get disheartened by it it is what it is and the wife wanted something to cover her coffee cup she has an extraordinarily large coffee cup and she wanted a lid to cover her coffee cup so i made her a lid to cover her coffee cup i guess it's probably time for me to buy some uh, different plas uh, or perhaps if there's a 3d printing company out there that would like to send me some and i can print in different colors i'd be happy to talk about them on the channel and review their product that's a bit cheeky of me isn't it anyway awesome thanks for watching as always don't forget to rate put your thumbs up thumbs down put your thoughts in the comments section and subscribe we've produced an awful lot of stuff various different projects handheld games consoles um, arcade machines and uh, robot lawnmowers uh, modified a big track with um, uh, with uh, Arduino and uh, and uh, ultrasonic sensors um, yeah so uh, so pop on over and check out a few videos see what you think cheers I don't believe it's difficult and I don't believe and I don't believe it's useful <laughs> start that again hang on a minute this is this is gonna be Gary isn't it hello how are you mate you outside Brilliant. Can you give us just 30 seconds? We'll be right there. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> He's going to get it up on two wheels in a minute. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I don't I don't understand how Gary knows how